You probably clicked on this video because you're struggling to do the hard things, or at least the stuff you're supposed to do, be it preparing for a test that you have to take tomorrow, or an assignment you have to submit. You are procrastinating, but not anymore because I'm going to show you a strategy that will help you to never procrastinate again. You'll not have to force yourself to study or work. By taking the three simple steps that you will learn in this video, preparing for that final exam or working on your side hustle is going to be much easier. I've been using this recipe for years and believe me, it works. And once you start implementing these three steps, everything is going to change for you. You will finally find the willpower and motivation to do all the things you've been procrastinating on. But you have to watch the video till the end to understand all three steps. And at the end of the video, I have something special for you. If I would offer you $100 today or $150 one year later, most of you would probably choose $100 now, because a year from now looks like a long time. You're not sure what's going to happen by then. So better take $100 today. You can invest it and make much more than waiting for another year. When something is vague and uncertain, your brain tries to avoid it at all costs because it might consume a lot of energy. It's counterproductive since your brain is trying to optimize and save that energy for later. Your brain starts coming up with every excuse to delay that task. Say you want to prepare for tomorrow's test. You skipped many classes and it seems unreal to read the entire book in one night. You certainly need much more time. You don't even know where to start, what are the topics you have to study first. Your brain will give you every excuse to postpone it or avoid it entirely by saying that your friend is going to sit next to you and is going to help you. Or let's take another example. Every time you want to start doing something productive, your brain jumps in and says, let's make a coffee or how about you check your Instagram and find out who commented on your last picture. And that's because the task that you have in front of you is vague and uncertain. A simple way to fix that is to break that task into a few small steps. Instead of getting ready for the test, set a goal to read just the first chapter that will take you around 10 to 15 minutes. It's going to be much easier to push yourself to focus for 10 minutes. Once you're done with the first chapter, move to the next. What I have found out works the best is that, instead of setting a goal of accomplishing something, create time blocks. Set a goal of working for 30 minutes, for example, and then take a smash break as you want. That's much better than setting a goal to study for the entire day, but in reality, you will be procrastinating by watching YouTube videos or Netflix. The food you eat directly impacts your brain. And since your brain controls the rest of your body, whatever you had on breakfast will impact your mood, willpower and overall motivation throughout the day. When you look at the grocery store's shelves, most of the products are filled with sugar that is named differently. In fact, sugar is named in 56 different names such as dextrose, fractose, glucose, dextrin and many others. They're just various forms of sugar. But the side effects of consuming so much sugar are severe. In fact, one of the main reasons you're lazy and can't stay focused for a longer period is because you've been consuming too much sugar. Your brain is a complicated object, but what we know for sure is that it functions through hormones or neurotransmitters. One of them is dopamine that's responsible for your reward system. When you socialize, have fun, grab a slice of a cake or even get good grades, it sends a signal to your brain and releases dopamine. It feels good, that's why you decide to eat another slice of that cake to experience that dopamine spike again. That's why beverage companies add a lot of sugar to their products to make you come back for their products again. There is nothing wrong with that, but when you consume more sugar than you suppose, your dopamine levels start spiking higher and higher, and at some point, that becomes your new normal. So things such as socializing or the satisfaction you get after submitting an assignment do not produce enough dopamine to spike it higher, since your new dopamine level is already too high. In other words, you destroyed your reward system, 
That's why you find it difficult to do anything meaningful. You can't even stay focused for 20 minutes because your brain is craving for that dopamine boost. So you quickly check your Instagram or Facebook to release those neurotransmitters. Heroin, for example, releases even more dopamine than sugar does. That's why it's addictive. Once you get addicted, your new dopamine level will be so high that nothing else will be interesting enough for you to do other than consuming that drug. So how to do the hard things? Control your reward system by controlling your diet. Try to get rid of sugar completely. A single Coca-Cola can has 40 grams of sugar and a Snickers bar 12. An average American consumes a little over 71 grams of sugar a day when you shouldn't consume more than 30 grams a day. Most people have destroyed their reward system. So no matter what technique you're going to use to stay focused, study for that test or work on your side business, you can't until you fix your diet. Start by replacing all of your drinks with water or fresh juice. If you usually add two teaspoons of sugar to your coffee, cut it by half. Replace your Snickers bar with a banana or watermelon or other kind of fruits. Your dopamine level will start slowly decreasing to its normal level and you will find it much easier to stay focused. Koalas are one of the dumbest animals out there. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, sorry koalas, just in case you're watching this video. But the fact is, koalas have an unusually smaller brain and the size of the brain also reflects the intellectual ability of an animal. Before you feel sorry for them, hear me out. Koalas don't need a bigger brain since they sleep for 18 to 22 hours a day and when they are awake, they eat leaves. Koalas are known for being lazy. In this modern world of technological innovation, most of our jobs consist of sitting in front of a computer. We move much less than our grandfathers did. You see, our bodies are built to move and our ancestors had to constantly move either to hunt and put food on the table or run away when they came across a predator. Sitting reduces your blood flow unless oxygen enters your brain and your bloodstream. And guess what your brain needs the most to stay active? Exactly, oxygen and bloodstream. So if you're sitting for 10 hours a day, don't be surprised that you find it difficult to stay focused. I'm not even going to talk about its side effects. National Institute of Health study concluded that adults who spend most of their time sitting have a 50% higher mortality rate. If you sit for more than 6 hours a day, your risk of death increases by a rate similar to smokers. So a simple way to make it easy for your brain to focus is to move. For every 45 minutes you sit, stand up and stretch for 10 minutes. If you can work while standing up or walking, do it. Of course, from time to time you have to sit, that's not a big deal if you're moving enough. Studies show that students with high fitness scores have almost always higher test scores. So if you want to make it even better, exercise, go for a little jog every morning. If you never exercise and suddenly want to run a marathon, you will probably struggle and won't be able to run for more than 100 meters. Then what makes you think that if you don't keep your brain in shape, you can stay focused and have enough willpower to do the hard things all the time? That's why you have to develop a certain lifestyle if you want to be productive all the time. I started by developing my confidence. Without high self-esteem and complete confidence in yourself, it's really difficult to make any significant change in your life. After many years of trial and error, I've taken all that knowledge and experience and turned them into a step-by-step -step course that can help you to boost your confidence like I did and make that significant change in your life. You will learn everything you need to know. This program is usually a $100 program, which might be still expensive for some of you. So I decided to lower it to $49 for a few days. It's a risk-free program. If you don't end up liking the course, you can just apply for a refund and you will get your money back within 24 hours, no questions asked. You don't have to explain yourself because my primary concern is to help you boost your confidence and make a positive change in your life. Thanks for watching and until next time.